Hello out there YouTube. I just wanted to show what we home built for our air conditioners during this heat wave to help the efficiency. It took our upstairs from low 90s down to the uh, 78 that we wanted it to because it was really struggling. So we just did a simple mister unlike all the other ones you see out there. Really quite simple. We put really one mister per unit here. And all we did is we got one of the riser misters here and we plugged off plugged off all but one facing each way so that one's open plugged them all and that one is open and these ones are plugged so to the sides one to each you can see the kind of markings on there but we are trying to help that with a filter on the line calcium inhibitor filter so what we did is I ran that with a couple hoses and just used some simple sprinkler line. Y adapter in case I wanted two, to put two lines in there. Simple sprinkler. And then here's the power. I ran from a switch I'll show you on the unit to have the air control the water. So it runs to the switch and back and then actuates the actuator here. To release the water and then we've got the power up there and behind the box but my simple switch is just this guy when the fan comes on comes in isolated by itself the other line touches the frame completing the circuit which runs all the way through here through the brass and into the arm so when the arm touches this head it completes the circuit and I just used a toilet valve and I put a little flap from an old piece of plastic with a, some uh, wood there to keep the flaps extended so when it when the air comes on it touches and when it touches I don't know if you can see it but there it is. Water starts running. And if I drop it, of course now it's under pressure, so it might take a second. But it breaks the connection to the uh, to the sprinkler line there, closes the solenoid, stops the water. So now it is only running when it needs to be. And I can hear it slowing down. I don't know if you can see or hear it, but. a little better so when the switch comes off the solenoid closes and it releases the pressure in the line and it missed the two systems you can see we're still going to have some calcium build up so it might not be the best idea but we're going to use some CLR on it just to keep it maintained and clean but it has made a significant difference in how efficient it's holding the upstairs at the dedicated 78 degrees so if we keep it clean it'll be well worth it and you can see we got a little moss in because it's been running a little bit but I still think it is totally worth it even though we're kind of having this calcium issue but we will clean the grates so it doesn't get too bad and for the savings and power I think it's well worth it myself so we'll give it just a second here when that air conditioner turns on it's still kind of peeing right now We'll let it turn on, show you it work. There it goes. And right away. It's missing in the way. There's my simple setup.
Thanks, guys.